I'm now going to talk about the installation and the configuration of the Haltech Flex Fuel Sensor. Here we have the Haltech Flex Fuel Sensor fitted to the 2JZ test engine. The feed line is connected directly to the fuel pump, which goes through the fuel rail and then comes along the return line, which is where we want to fit the Flex Fuel Sensor. The wiring of the Haltech Flex Fuel Sensor is very straightforward with a 12 volt ground and signal wire which go directly back to the Haltech ECU. We will now need to configure the Haltech to let it know that the flex fuel sensor is available. To enable the flex fuel, we need to go to the main setup. Inside the main setup, we need to go to the inputs page. We can now enable one of the digital pulsed inputs the same input that we wired the flex fuel sensor to. Using the pull down menu, we can select digital fuel composition sensor. We can now hit OK. And the ECU will now prompt us to rebeat the ECU. Once we have rebooted, we will be able to bring up the fuel composition channel using one of the displays. We can choose the number display. And once again, select the digital fuel composition sensor. As you can see, we now have 0% ethanol with the Haltech flex fuel sensor installed and the fuel tank drained, we can now fill it up with E85. Now that we have a tank of E85, we can go through and prime the fuel system and observe the fuel composition value. We can also bring up the fuel composition channel on the Haltech Race Pack dash. It's important to note that when you're filling up with E85, if there's any remaining fuel in the tank, the figure that's displayed on the fuel composition may not be 85%. For more information about our fuel composition and flex fuel sensor, please see our flex fuel overview video. And for more information about the tuning and configuration of our fuel composition feature, please see the tuning in configuration video.